Hey everyone, just want to make a quick video showing how to compile and program an AT Tiny chip with the PSNE mod chip code. So this, so this process is not quite exactly clear in the instructions, and I did run into a few hiccups along the way, and the guys in the Retro RGB Discord helped me get it all figured out. So I figured I'd just make a video showing everybody else in case they want to program their own chips also. So we're going to start by coming over here to GitHub and download the source code. Now yeah, we got that download. Let's go ahead and open it up. And I'm going to link a video down below that's going to show you how to program the AT Tiny chips for more of a generic use. So go ahead and watch that video first. So I'm using an Arduino Uno. It's the same programmer that they use in the video that I'm going to link. That'll show you how to get it set with the in-circuit programming, or in-system programming, I think that's what it's called. And basically just how to get started. So now we got the source code download. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, I'm going to connect my Arduino Uno. And by default, the AT Tiny boards are not supported, so we're going to need to add those boards in manually. So if we come right over here, this is the link to the board manager. So we're going to copy that. I'll put that down in the description for everyone. We are not worried about a new package right now. So we're going to go to File, Preferences, and Additional Board Manager URLs. So we're going to click this little guy right here, and just paste in our URL. Hit OK. Go to Tools, then Boards, Board Manager. And we're going to search for AT Tiny. Install. Okay, now we can program the AT Tiny chips. Come here, your tools, board, AT Tiny microcontrollers, and the 45 and the 85 is what PSNE can be programmed to. I have an 85 right here. So we're going to select the 5 series. Then for the processor type, I'll select 85 since that's the one I have. Internal clock is going to be internal 8 megahertz. And my Uno is on port 4, so that's correct. And for programmer, we want to select Arduino as ISP. So now we're going to come over to source code and we're going to scroll down a little bit. And right here, here's where you define what type of chip you're going to be programming this mod chip code to. So we're going to go ahead and uncomment the ATtiny X5 portion. And then this will let the compiler know that we're going to be using the ATtiny chip. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug one of my chips in, so my ZIS socket here. And we're going to go to Tools, and then it's like Burn Bootloader. Now what this is going to do is it's going to set some of the few settings. To configure like the internal clock and all the things that we uh, configure right here. So now we have the bootloader program. We're going to come over here to sketch. We're going to say upload using programmer. Then it's going to flash the code. And done uploading. So now we've successfully programmed our AT Tiny 85 to be a mod chip. So let's go over to PlayStation and test it out, make sure it works. And now we're back over to the PlayStation. So I started a socket onto this one while I was doing all my testing when I was having trouble getting the code to boot. 
So we got the mod chip plugged in. Let's turn it on and see if we can boot a copy disk. Classic PlayStation boot screen. Until the disk starts spinning faster, so it passed the first round of security checks. And there we go. And that's programmed the PS Knee to an AT Tiny mod chip. So only six wires, and this one's even more reliable than the Mayumi because it actually monitors the tracks rather than just relying on timing based method. So hopefully this helps some of y'all, and you can program your own PS Knee mod chips now.